Well, welcome everyone. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about some Bluetooth issues that I've been having and I've been sort of looking all around the uh, YouTube and the net and a lot of people are having Bluetooth issues with their uh, M1 Max and their other Max, the M Series Max. Um, so I thought I'd talk about a solution that I seem to have found uh, that has fixed it. But one of the things that I did notice, uh, I'm using the Apple keyboard. I've just upgraded actually to a Logitech one, but I am using the Apple uh, keyboard. But I did notice when I installed the operating system, and I did that twice, I did notice that um, the keyboard wasn't being recognized. And it, it comes up with a dialog box to say, press the return key, I think it is, or the, or the key next to the shift key or something. And it said, press that. And it just wasn't recognizing it, which was pretty weird. Anyway, I continued and the keyboard seemed to be working fine. Now, I've also got a Logitech mouse and that worked fine as well. Uh, I've never had an issue with that at all. Uh, but the keyboard, what would happen is I'm typing and then it would slow down. And, and I, as I'm actually typing, I could see the cursor actually catching up to where I was. And then it almost, then it just lost basically control. Uh, and it was no good. So I've been looking all around the net trying to find solutions for it. And it seems to have solved my issue. And it's going to be interesting to see if this uh, solves other people's issues as well. But let me show you what I did. So what I did was, um, you have a Bluetooth icon. Let me just switch over to here. You have a Bluetooth icon that's up at the top of your right hand uh, of the screen there. Now, if you hold down the option and the shift key uh, on your keyboard, and then you click on that Bluetooth icon, you get this dialog box that comes up. If you don't do that and you just click, you only see your devices that are connected at the moment. So when you click on it again, uh, what it does, you have this ability to now reset the Bluetooth module and also reset uh, factory reset all connected Apple devices as well. You could even remove all devices. But what I did was I reset, uh, I've been to factory reset all the uh, Apple devices and also reset the Bluetooth module. Now that is all that I seem to do. Once I did that, um, the system seemed to come back online and I haven't lost it since. And that was a couple of days ago. Now, before this happened, I was losing it every hour. Uh, the keyboard would start to play up. Since I've done that, I haven't had an issue. Now, in fact, even with the Logitech, I've had that now for a day and I haven't had an issue with it either. It may appear again, I don't know, but at the moment, um, it's it's not having an issue at all. So I just wanted to share this with everyone out there that it seems to be a, a fix. So there is a couple of things that I think may be causing issues here. I think it's part of the Bluetooth low uh, energy that may be causing issues. And I think it can even be conflicting with your Wi-Fi as well, because they both use 2.4 gigahertz uh, for their um, communication. So if you are on a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, uh, wi you might want to change to 5 gigahertz and see if that fixes it, or if you can go to Ethernet. Although I have heard people say that that hasn't fixed their issues. But I have not had those issues since I did do that uh, fix and it seems to have sorted itself out now. Now whether Apple is going to put out a fix for that, I have heard that as well. So that may be another thing that might be able to, to uh, be done as well. But since I've also changed to this new Logitech system, uh, I haven't had any issues either. And like I said, with the Logitech mouse, I never had any issues with that at all. Or even the uh, Magic Trackpad uh, that I use here has never had uh, issues either. It just seems to be this was what was causing me all the Bluetooth issues. Uh, nothing else. But since I reset those settings and then shut down and log back in again, uh, the keyboard was then um, correctly recognized and I put in the numbers that was required before it didn't do that. Uh, so I'd love to know if that will help you. So let me know in the comment box down below if this has helped you. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.